Penn State has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Third down. He's scrambling. He's to the 40, and that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Looking for the corner, brought down at the 46-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. scramble and they got it coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better third down and they need to get it inside the 47 crunch time defense offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense anticipating pass here it's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Green nine, green nine. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Run, 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 run. He makes his way out to about the 25. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. If even that on the play action pass. That'll bring up third and two. Tenth play of the drive. Makes it to the 14. From the 14 yard line, first down. He has some room. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. This is the 12th play of this drive. It's first down. Chance for three or seven here. First and goal inside the five. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, Michigan State. And 
and he tacks on the extra point. It was a 13 play, 79 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Michigan State ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Nittany Lions have been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Dog four. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds around the 50-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. First and ten. Ball on the 50. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Makes the grab past the marker. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35-yard line. First down. Taken down at the 37. That's a loss of two yards on that play. That brings up second and 13. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 37. Excellent open field tackle. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. Third down. Now he pitches it. He's taken down at the 28. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, the Spartans with a touchdown lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. Penn State is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Michigan State holds a four-point lead. He's in trouble. And he's hit immediately. That's a game four on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball of the 29. Mike 40, Mike 40. Black five, black five. Orange three, orange three. And they make the stop right around the 26 yard line. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. That'll make it third and nine. Three down. Mike, Red two. 40, Mike, and, go. Go, go, go. and down he goes around the 41 yard line. That makes it first 
from their own 41 yard line. First down. He's on the run. They'll bring him down around the 45 yard line. Fights forward to about the 46. Gain of one yard. That'll make it 35. So we're looking at another third down here. Michigan State is up by four. Red two. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 40. Tackle around the 36 yard line. From the 36 yard line. First down. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. A loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Forty's the mic. Squeeze. Red two. Go. He's at the 30. He gets to about the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Inside the 10, and that sets them up with a first and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown, Spartans. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart up. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 14-3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he's tackled at about the 35. Number 34 on the tackle. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Up the middle for a nice game. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Out of bounds at about the 45. Gaining four yards. That'll bring up third and six. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this one is a beauty. 
Michigan State's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, partner. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So there's still a lot of football to be played. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Spartans will use their first time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Brought down at the 20. To that quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Brad, I love the way the defense is flying around right now and hitting people. This looked like an easy catch for the running back out of the backfield, but a big hit right here could really start to create some energy for the defense. Green nine, green nine. Go. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers, so that was a really good effort. It's third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Seven, two, blue boy. Nice run up the middle. Good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of it. Penn State's going to use their first time out of the half here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The Nittany Lions know, I think, that at some point, they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up kill, big kill, numbers. Kill. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. From the 41-yard line, first down. And he's level at the 27. Kill, kill, kill. Number 27 on the tackle for the 27-yard line. Green nine, green nine. Easy, easy. Blue 20. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number 15, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Four down, four down. Yeah, check, hey, Mike. Hey, no, no, it's just Mike right here. Mike. Dog four, X7. Go. He's scrambling. Yard line. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Penn State's called their final timeout. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is up, and he's got it. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan State holds an eight-point advantage. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. 14-6, Spartans. Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. It belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Pressure coming. Just throws this one away. Flips it, middle to the running back. They'll get him for a loss. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. At the corner. He's knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Michigan State up by eight. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Black five, black. Gets out to around the 45. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he is drilled at the 13. So the sack makes this a second and long. Got a man complete. He's hit hard. Number 40 makes the 
just had to go at the 19 yard line. That, that makes it third and 11. Three down, three down. Three down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check, he's coming. He's coming. And two, green pick. <laughs> And he hits him hard at the 11 yard line. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Taken down at the 48-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Michigan State is up by eight. He's at the 30. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. And he's taken down around the 27 yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. it out to about the 27 yard line. No gain on the play. Third down. Third down and they need to get it to the 15. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Black five, black. Caught open field. And they make the stop around the 12 yard line. From the 12 yard line. First down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Michigan State holds an eight point advantage. Go for Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll bring up third and six. six. Third down again. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Kicks up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Spartans continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up to capitalize on this possession. Heading for the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. Good for a game, six yards. That'll make, make it second, second and four. four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it out to about the 40. Carries the ball. Gain of nine yards. 
First down. I got him! 40's the mic! Squeeze! Dog four! Go! They bring him down in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check, he's coming, he's coming. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue four, blue four. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 17-6, Spartan. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And a quick throw. That's a seven-yard game. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Red two. Green go. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. Fires it again to his tight end. And down he goes at about the 17-yard line. You know, I've talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big plays. And the halfback toss gets maybe three yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Dog four. Orange three. Toss left side. Runs outside for a nice game. Third down. So we're looking at another third down here. Some daylight. They'll bring him down around the two yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. Tenth play of the drive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. So the offense is going to go for two. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. And it's caught for two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Michigan State is up a field goal. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Woo, 20. Here we go.
gets it out to about the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. on the run tries to get around the corner fumble that was a close one but the ball goes out of bounds from the 33 yard line first down Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Up the middle for a nice game. The Nittany Lions will use their first time out of the half. Penn State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. The defense might have just run out of chances with that first down right there. This offensive line definitely left it all in the field today. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. Yeah, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. Puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line. Get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. That brings him second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Dog four. Orange three. Orange three. Tonight. Knocked out of bounds, right around the two-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And off, and he can't get it over the line. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and he's got it. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. Sends it sailing downfield. And he's taken down at the 16. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Out of bounds, right around the 18-yard line. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Aaron and out long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. This one's in the books. The Spartans come out on top, 20 to 14. 
Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.